Okay, a little background story. Basically, uh, I put my birth chart up on this 8th house group uh, that I'm a part of, and I asked everyone there, can you please explain to me uh, how um, it always feels like I'm trying to join groups and I'm always being kicked out and hated on and ostracized and all that for asking questions. Now, for the most part, I got friendly feedback. Uh, there were two people, one particular, I just, uh, it was a guy I could not stand one bit. Uh, and the other one, uh, there's a little slight misunderstanding. We made up, and then she shared this information with me. And at the time, um, I mean, I thought I knew what she was talking about. Uh, but I, I found out later, like, well, I thought I thought she was referring to the gene keys stuff that I've been hearing. But no, this is different. This is called the human design, Okay. And basically what it is, it's another personality system, uh, much like the Myers-Briggs stuff, the INFJ, INFP, ENFP, that sort of thing. And it's no different than astrology, you know, what your moon, your sun, your rising, uh, all these things are supposed to tell you all these different aspects of your personality. No difference. Another system. Another personality system. Now, uh, I looked into it a little bit, and honestly, I'm really not that interested in a whole lot of these systems, you know. Uh, astrology, astrology is the only one that I felt like I got close to. But the reason why I'm not that big of a fan of these systems is because I already know who I am, for the most part. Um, even if you said that, well, even if you were to say that sometimes I get confused, well then that's, that's me knowing who I am. I can get confused. You get what I'm saying? So, um, either way, I know who I am, okay, for the most part. And the reason for that is because I grew up using this one ta one thing, this tactic, this tool of mine called observation. All I ever did when I was younger was observe myself and other people. And I learned through observing what was naturally there, Okay. So that's how I ended up knowing who, who I truly was as a person. Most other people um, I come across, um, they always had something else, I feel like, to alter their personality. And they end up not knowing who they are. So what they'll do is, you know, when they get older, and they, they, they learn about these systems, they grab onto it because it, it, it could very well be accurate. But the thing is, though, a lot of times these systems, I feel like, are quite possibly based on the truth, but they themselves are not the truth. The key word here is based, right? They're based because, let's take astrology, for instance. Uh, the ancients, the ancient people, uh, would have observed, you know, that whenever people were born under, under a certain sign which where the sun was in the position of a constellation that these people here would be born a certain way they act a certain way and you know overall it's time they start realizing oh, okay you know, not just the sun but whenever the moon's here whenever you know the the mars or you know i mean okay you know i don't know what planets remember what planets they discovered what you get what i'm saying they observed what they observed and based on that they created systems right now, systems, again, being human-made, are going to be flawed. They're not going to tell you completely who you are because, again, they're made by humans. Uh, these are based on those observations of the truth, the things that, that God created. Right? I also believe that God is the one responsible for creating the, uh, the whole observation tool in the first place for us to have. And uh, I think that's really what we should be using uh, mostly, but not getting not getting attached too attached to these systems. I can explain why. Um, now I, I created my own system, right? Um, and uh, I basically based it on if you were born at a certain time, then you, you're, I'm assigning you a letter to represent who you are as a person, and you are not allowed. To get to go outside the system, you're supposed to identify with the system. Why? Because it's based on truth. It's gonna re it's gonna resonate with you. I promise you. Okay, so <laughs> so if you were if you were born between July 23rd and August 22nd, then I'm gonna sign you the letter N. 
standing for narcissist, okay? So I don't care if you say I am not a narcissist or any of that stuff. Based on this system, that's generally who you are as a person. And I guarantee you there's a lot of people who are going to relate to that, okay? Uh, or at least other people will see them that way anyways. Uh, and then you got uh, the uh, my, my March 21st through April 19th people. I've assigned you the letter A. Standing for asshole, okay? So if you were born between March 21st and April 19th, then you are an asshole. Congratulations. You know, you now know who you are. Now, I'm gonna, I, I, I have other ones. I'm going to do one last one. I still haven't quite fully developed the system quite yet, but, you know, um, but my last sign is actually my sign, okay? Uh, my sign being if you were born anywhere between February 19th to April, oh no, to March, excuse me, March 20, 20th, uh, then you were assigned the letter P, standing for pushover, okay? Now, once again, you are not allowed to think outside the system. This, this is what the whole purpose of the system is, is so that you can find yourself, okay? Now, uh, all joking aside, if anyone knew what I was doing, basically I was basing my bullshit system on astrology and, and whatever, and I'm sure, I'm sure there's a lot of people that do relate to their signs and all that stuff. But again, it's not going to fully tell you exactly who or why you are the way you are, you know. A lot of the reasons why I related to all the 8th house shit to begin with is because of all the crazy shit that I was, I've been through. You know, but there's a story to tell. Even if you were to believe it in the past lives and all that other stuff, you look at your chart, you might say, well, this person is... A Scorpio this and this and this person does not trust easily and if you go back and you look at their past life you realize oh maybe because they were persecuted uh, by a lot of people maybe that's why just like uh, like a scared dog that's been beaten to death you know how they get fearful and they they whine and they don't trust human beings and it takes them a while to trust somebody again you know that sort of thing you don't know you know but either way like I said going full circle um, I wouldn't put your power into these systems. I wouldn't get so attached to these systems and thinking that these systems are going to explain to you exactly who you are as a person and what your destiny is and blah, 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 because, you know, ultimately, ultimately, I don't know. Because, I mean, what system am I going to use, right? Because, I, honestly, that whole uh, human design shit said I'm supposed to be doing what I'm doing right now, teaching. It said I'm a teacher. It said I'm a, what, what was it, a... Uh, I'm a projector, that's what it said, I'm a personal, personal type, whatever, six slash two, whatever, I'm, I'm, it's saying I'm supposed to be doing this, right, but if you look at astrology, it's, you're just going to be, like I mentioned before, there's going to be astrologists saying, oh, you're supposed to leave your south node Sagittarius of being a teacher, and you're supposed to move into your north node Gemini being a, being a student again, and remember, I tried following that for a long time because I thought that's really what I was supposed to do. But now I just don't give a shit. You know, well, I figured I'm just going to have to do what I want to do and learn learn through experience and learn, you know, what works and what doesn't work. And, you know, whatever, you know. Just, like I said, I can relate to certain things, but it's not going to tell me who I am fully as a person. I've I said this already. I think I should probably just end it because that's pretty much all I need to say. Don't give your power away. To, don't give all your power away to these systems. If you want to know who you are, ah, now I remember. I'm glad I didn't end it. One last thing. Um, New Age is also a system. The one reason, the other reason, the second reason why I don't like New Age is the whole positive, you know, thing that they do. They make it like, you know, the law of attraction type of shit. The other thing I can't stand is it makes it makes you feel like you're supposed to be independent. And I know not everybody is. You know, not everybody has that, you know, independent spirit in them. And they're always making it sound like you're, you know, the answer is always within you. That's not true because we all have relationships for a reason. We learn through communicating with one another. We learn about ourselves sometimes through other people. And they learn about themselves through us. I know for me, for the most part, uh, people, when they get involved with me, <clears throat> um, they they don't know the questions to ask themselves. So usually I'm the one saying, okay, what about this? What about that? And because I'm being the voice of reason, I'm, I'm giving them the questions to ask. 
I'm not giving them answers. I'm just giving them the questions that they can ask and then answer for themselves. But that's usually what happens when people get involved with me. But that would also, again, that would mean that uh, they don't necessarily have all the answers. And sometimes I don't have all the answers. That's why I ask certain people, you know, why this? You know, why, why am I being kicked out of these groups? And ultimately, I already know why. Is because I'm what I'm doing right now. I'm questioning things. You know, I'm I'm trying to put put things in a more rational sort of way of analyzing. Like, is this true? Does this truly hold up? That's why I get kicked out because I don't go along with the flow. I do what I want to do, and you know. But like I said, you know, you 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 learn the, you through relationships as well, not just through yourself. But if you listen to this, thank you for listening. I will talk to you later.